Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I've done a number of tutorials of outer space, including how to make futuristic text, planets, and even the sun. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you another way of making nebulas in deep space. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. The source of our nebula is this photo of cirrus clouds. I provided a PSD file and a texture for you to download so you can follow along. Their links are located in the video's description or project files. The first step is to make a star background. Go to the nebula layer and click off its eyeball to hide it. Click on the stars layer to make it active. Go to filter, noise, and add noise. We'll make the amount 5%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 0.3 pixels. Press Ctrl L on a PC or Command L on a Mac to open your Levels window. Make the input blacks 18 and the input whites 48. Right now the stars are extremely subtle but once we add a blend mode later, their intensity will brighten. Click back on the eyeball of the nebula to make it visible and click on the thumbnail to make it active. We'll remove all the color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Adjust the levels by opening the levels window again and making the input blacks 12 and the input midtones 0.54. Change the blend mode to screen and the opacity between 35 to 40 percent. Click on the new layer button to make a new layer and change the blend mode to color dodge. Click on your foreground color and pick a relatively medium to dark color. Open your brush tool and choose a large brush with a zero percent hardness and an opacity of a hundred percent. To make your brush smaller or larger Press the left or right bracket keys. Gently brush over areas of your image to brighten and colorize the nebula. Click on your foreground color again to pick another color. Notice the stars brighten as well once you brush over them. Brush over other areas and continue to add colors until you're happy with the result. We're ready to add a celestial sphere. Open the texture I provided and go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Make the amount 100% and click OK. Duplicate the filter by pressing Ctrl or Command F. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the top left corner, and press and hold Shift as you drag out a circular selection to the bottom right corner. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the sphere from its background. To get it into our nebula document, press V to open your move tool and drag it up onto its tab. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. Let's reduce its size. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. At the top, click on the chain link button to link the width and the height of the transform. Type in 19%. Notice both have the same percentage. Click inside the transform to move the object and when you're happy with its position press enter or return. Let's use auto levels to increase its contrast. Press Control alt l on a PC or Command Option L on a Mac. Let's add an outer and inner glow to the sphere. Double click on the sphere layer to open its layer styles. Click on outer glow and click on the color box. I'm typing in D6B380. Make the blend mode screen, the opacity between 30 to 35 percent, and the size between 55 to 60 pixels. Click inner glow and for the color I'm typing in four F's and B E. Make the blend mode lighten, 
the opacity between 35 to 40 pixels and the size 40 pixels. Control click or command click on the sphere thumbnail to make a selection of its shape and make a new layer. We want to fill the selection with black. To make your foreground color black, click on the small double box icon or press D on your keyboard. Now press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Click off the chain link to unlink the layer and its layer mask. We can now resize and move either one independently of the other. Click on the black circle to make it active and move it up and to the right. We need to blur it, so go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it 15 pixels. Let's increase the size of the blurred shadow. Open your transform tool, go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac as you drag out. If you want to reposition it, just drag it to a new position. Then press Enter or Return. The shadow is a little too dense, so let's reduce the opacity to 90%. Let's make a composite snapshot. To do this, press Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. The last step is to add a couple of lens flares. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Make the brightness 50% and the lens type 50 to 300 mm zoom. In the thumbnail view box, drag the lens flare to the upper left of your sphere. Make a copy of this layer and again go back to filter, render, and lens flare. This time, choose 105 mm prime with a brightness of 75%. Drag the lens flare to the upper left quadrant. Have fun creating a scene from deep space that includes a celestial sphere and a colorful nebula. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.